Let's do our thing, Vaughn. Some say her snoring can wake the dead. No, no it doesn't. I don't snore. But that's just her speaking voice. (laughs) Even my mom has a podcast. Hi, I'm Vaughn Fry, world famous comedian, caused an international incident this week. And joining me is my retired children's librarian mother, known as... Mom. Yes. And welcome to the show. If this is your first time here. Yes. Welcome, everybody. Okay. So I guess we will lead with my international incident. How about Because I haven't heard about this. Okay. You haven't heard about this. So I did make a concise video about this on a, a reel on Instagram to kind of present to you. So here goes. Okay. Holy shit. That smells good. Maybe we're not go overboard. Well, gonna, my mouth's gonna kill me. Right, and what's Christmas without Bailey's? So let's try it with Bailey's. You read my comment there? Oh my God, this smells insane. Let's try it. All right, do you understand what happened? No, there? I don't. Okay, so this lady is making a drink. Right. Okay. And I commented, did you see what I commented? What did you say? I can tell from her accent she's definitely Korean. How did you figure that out? Okay, I put I can tell from the accent she's definitely Korean. Okay. Her accent's not Korean. No, it's not. Everybody in Northern Ireland got triggered or laughed. They're like, I can't believe you think she's Korean. Or, or oh, oh my God, this killed me. This X thing. Elon Musk renamed Twitter X, and we already have the best X that's ever going to be. The best zeet or tweet or whatever we're calling it. Like Everybody's acting like that's the funniest thing they ever saw. All the people in Northern Ireland. No one from North Korea has even noticed. No one from <laughs> North Korea has reached out to me about doing a stand-up show. Does she have a, a Northern she must Ireland? Be, did you hear the way she talks? Let me hear this it one smells more time. good. Like, I mean, let's try Bailey's. Like, uh, did you hear the way she was talking? Uh-huh. Oh my God. That smells insane. Smells insane. Oh. <laughs> you do you pay attention to anything? I was looking at other stuff like her cleavage. My goodness. I guess she must be known. Maybe she's a TikTok Apparently, influencer she's in Northern known. Ireland. And people were like, oh, my God, you won't believe what this is. This guy said, oh, yeah, this killed me. I never saw this coming, all this stuff. So <laughs> that's what happened. Well, yeah. good. That was the international incident. I'm going to crack open a Red Bull. Let's see if we get this all All he needs me. is more energy. Hey, when you buy the good stuff... It doesn't spill all over you. You know that? That's right. It's also, the real I don't think thing. they come, I don't think they came even close to filling this. I think that's the other thing about that. How many ounces is that Red Bull? 8.4. Well, that is just like a cup of Red Bull plus four ounces. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So uh, what else did you do this week? I caused an international incident. What did you do? Oh, gosh. Just because saying somebody didn't sound like she was Korean. You could tell she was Korean. Yeah, see, okay. So the issue... I didn't think about this at the time, but I thought I'll put, okay, she sounds Japanese, Chinese. Let's go with Korean. It, is, it sounds funnier. People are like, no, you're, you're getting the wrong separated country because North Korea is separated from, or South Korea. You got uh-huh. Northern Ireland and, and Ireland. That's right? right. So that, the fact that I found another separated country it's very to say clever. she's from was more clever than I anticipated and probably <laughs> made the joke. You're clever than you know. Well, hey, we did have an adventure. What? Oh, we went to a store. That Bullseye Bins. Of Derby, Kansas. And there we found. Not a lot. <laughs> Are you being nice in case they're listening? Is that what you're doing? Well, it we was, found a lot of junk. Well, I saw Vaughn a, found sloth, a calendar, sloth calendar. A 2022 sloth calendar from the Sloth Appreciation Society, which, by I mind know you, there was one. <laughs> I think it consists of one woman, and she is the photographer of the sloth calendar. That's good. <laughs> and I think she's like a TV presenter and she does stuff with animals. You know, like we have, she's from the UK. We have like, you know, the TV presenters that play with the snakes on the Tonight Show, yeah, that sort of stuff. Yeah. She's one of those sort of people. Well, too bad it was a 2022 calendar that they still wanted how much for? Three bucks, I think. Three dollars. Everything in the store is three dollars. <laughs> and when you're buying 
you know, month past expiration date granola bars for $3. I don't really think that's a good value. That was scary. Well, box of granola bars. Yeah, okay, fine. But it expired nonetheless. How the one expired thing, was it? It was expired in June. Okay, last month. Well, you know, what, what I was a little bit concerned about and had kind of nightmares about was there's like these great big bins and it tells you, Go through these at your own risk. Well, in <laughs> case going, there's oh, a loose wow. needle in there? Well, I don't, yeah, or anything could be in there. And I mean, they're just piles of stuff. I'm thinking, oh, well, I'm a little bit worried. It says, you know, explore at your own so risk. So we think that what they do is they they got sh- dropped containers or something. They're just selling the goods that aren't sellable in a uh, retail store. I, I, I almost, they bought in they, bulk. I think they're buying something. containers. That buying containers. Left somewhere or something. I don't know. And I saw one thing that kind of looked like a bargain. Yeah. And that was a youth skateboard helmet for, for three dollars. I don't know where you're from, but three dollars is a pretty good value on a helmet. That was pretty good. I got half a mind to go back there and get that helmet, even if it doesn't fit me. Why? I, Could give I it to a know. child that we needs can, one? Yeah. Be like, hey, you look go like down. you're going to fall. We do have a skating park in Derby. You could just go down there and give it to some kid that doesn't have a helmet on. Do you think any of those kids don't have a helmet? They probably don't wear a helmet because it's not cool. It's not cool? Probably don't think it's cool. I think that it, these skateboard helmets look fairly cool. It's well, not, this one it doesn't looking. look, I think they look quite a bit less dorky than the bike helmet. You, you could wear it if we had a tornado. <laughs> Put it on your skateboard helmet. We could, we could paint a tornado on it and say, this, this is my tornado hat or tornado <laughs> helmet. <laughs> Let's not do that. Why not? I just don't think that's going to be. It might start a bad trend. Who knows? Or actually, we could invent a tornado helmet. I know. Everybody get your tornado helmet on. That's right. Well, they do say that now. I'm telling you, the way to make money now is you have somebody run for office. Telling you have to have and a tornado helmet And then you have the, other, the rest of the family. in your home. The rest of the family sells the invention you make mandatory. That's right. Okay, say I want to have those concrete pillars that go in front of like Target. They have those round balls, right? But they put those pillars in front of drugstores because people don't smash the room. Right. Right. They call it ram raiding in the UK. Oh, okay. What if we had those as mandatory in all new homes in the state? Because people are now, there's a lot of people crashing into houses now. You don't want to live on a curve, that's for sure. Okay, but you do, you, we could say, hey, in the name of safety, let's have these poles here. If you live on a curve. <laughs> How about everywhere so that then I, I run, for, I run as governor. Surrounded by one. I run as governor. I get nominated and elected and all that because of my charisma. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Really my amazing. charisma and lack of employment. That That's a huge that a factor right there. Yes. It means I don't have friends who I'm going to do favors for. That's pretty much my whole campaign right there. But then Tyler, he little brother, who, by the way, asked me the other day, why are you wearing sandals in the house? Are you breaking those in? I've been wearing sandals in the house for 18 years. <laughs> you just noticed. <laughs> so, so I don't break my toe. Yeah, you got to wear sandals or you're going to kick something and break a toe. Like your mother. You do. And I even bought you some good stuff and you didn't wear it and you kicked the bed, right? Or a chair. Yeah. Recliner. Yeah. And that hurt, right? Yeah. <laughs> and I still don't see you wearing those house shoes. We had to pay for x-rays. Um, wear the house shoes. <laughs> so... Tyler goes and makes the the concrete barriers, okay? And you have to get concrete barriers from him and all of your houses all across Kansas. That's where the money's Fry at. concrete barriers. That is where the money is at. It's not the concrete barriers. It's the fact that you have somebody dictating what is required by, by law, and then you have the family members prospering off of it. And then they cut a check to the big guy, right? That's right. Yeah, I want to be the big guy. It's getting hot in here. So? So, global boiling. Instead of just global warming, it's global boiling. Okay. Do you got that song? Uh, no, but I think this warrants a... What was that about? What, is that a weird the segue UN you're trying to do? The UN chief of um, something no. says, we're through with global warming. We've gone beyond that. We're in global boiling. I didn't so actually hot. say let's get into the news yet, did July I? July said the hottest month on record. Is is set to be the hottest month on record ever. Well, what are we going to do about it? We're going to have to stop using... um, I don't think it's a we issue. I think it's a China and India issue. Everybody's got to do something or we're going to boil over. You know how much smog they cleared up? Granted, Los Angeles is a dumpster fire, okay? 
all of California, horrible, horrific area. No, not terrible all of people. it. Uh, yes, is, it is. Every, every really, inch of it. Well, Everybody, there's evil. You've never been there. It, there I've is been there for nice a couple of seconds and California. Tyler threw up and it was my fault. <laughs> As we drove back from Las Vegas, we cut through California for soon, some reason, and Tyler vomited as soon as he got there. And I got yelled at for something. I don't know. <laughs> You're not holding the door open while he vomits. See, I'm going to get over there and whack you. And it's like, what was? How's it my fault? <laughs> that's part of being a brother. But in the in like the 50s, like a while back, 50s, 60s, 70s, there was a lot of smog in like Los Angeles. There was smoke everywhere. The catalytic converters, all the inventions, all the, you, I don't think you can asphyxiate yourself now by r- running a, one of our vehicles in the garage. Yes, you can. Uh, we could try. No, I'll don't, start. Please. I'll start the Jeep, our white Jeep Grand Cherokee. We you call it, affectionately Elizabeth Warren, <laughs> and we'll see how long it takes. Because I don't, I don't think it can be done. I yeah, think I it now runs so clean that that doesn't happen. No. I think it'll seep out underneath the garage door before it, it causes a problem inside the interior of the vehicle. Well, let's don't test it out, okay? Okay. In fairness, I'm not advocating that one should test that out. Thank you. Okay. But I also didn't say let's get in, launch into the news immediately, did I? Because I had a product we kind of want to talk about. Actually, you know what? You might even actually have a review to read, and I haven't checked. So if you did get a new review, we'll talk about that some other time, all right? Oh. But I want to talk to you about my buddies over at Nork Flatware. You said I haven't mentioned these on, on the show. You haven't, and you know, these are re- they're really attractive. I love the black color. Those are really black, nice. Black, titanium-coated, stainless steel. Um, it feels a lot lighter than their stainless steel ones, but these they are... Look sharp. It's flatware. I'm holding one of their spoons right now. This is the spoon for scooping Ben and Jerry's ice cream. It gets that really firm ice cream. And that firm ice cream, this stuff really scoops well. All their stuff is amazing. It's, it's kind of heavy. It's real and modern. So you got to be a little careful when you transport it from your dishes to the sink. Make sure you have all of the utensil on the on the plate. But well, their signature item, I- I'm getting to it. The signature item is, uh, for which the namesake, Nork, is a fork knife. It's not a spork. It's not a spoon. Beveled edges on the tines, which are also uh, rounded and everything. You can You can poke stuff. You put it's it in your great mouth. Great for eating pizza. You can rock, you can rock pizza corners down, and but because it's beveled and says serrated or anything, it doesn't cut the inside of your mouth. I've never had any issue with these. I eat every single meal at the house with Nork, and they even have a travel case. They have a bamboo, non-plastic, biodegradable version. Uh, it's it's not you know as heavy duty, but it's good for like parties and eating cake and whatever, right, at a party. Right, it's good. It, it, you, can put, it, it, you can put it in the washing machine, too. Dishwasher. Yeah, the washing machine, washing. as they say in Oklahoma. Sound like where I'm from Oklahoma, Yeah, that's it? kind of what it the sounds dishwasher. like. dishwasher. <laughs> okay, now I think we should jump into the news, if that makes sense. I'm going to show you We're a story. We're going to jump back in time. I'm, I want to start off with this story. <laughs> this gal, they call her the queen of chaos. Oh, my. They also call her mug shoddy. Uh oh. <laughs> Her name is Rayana Bell Brock. She's been arrested eleven times, and she has the photogenic mug shots. She's very photogenic. It looks like she did her She's hair. She's from Kentucky, and she gets arrested for stealing, just all kinds of stuff. The first mug shots, twenty eighteen. She's really pretty. Probation violation. Arrested for contempt of court, libel, failing to appear at a police station, courthouse. And Do they just go after her because she's hot? Arrested over to a series of stuff. Mugshot taken in January. They just, yeah, they, I, I think you oh, can Oh, she tell, dyed her hair. You can tell from her name she's trouble. Rayana <laughs> plus the bell. Come on now. Rayana Bell. That sounds like That's, a doozy. Yeah, she's, her, I think her TikTok handle is Queen of Chaos 23 or something like that. Mm. So that's why they call her Queen of Chaos and also Mug Shoddy. Where does she live? Kentucky. Kentucky. And if you live in Kentucky, you have to get a shot down by the creek, don't you? God, goodness. You got to get a picture at the creek. <laughs> you like that, don't you, Vaughn? I don't know what the future holds for. Probably more <laughs> mug shots. If you, make your, if you make your name for yourself with your mug shots, you got to keep the mug no shots comment, coming, right? No comment, but the future holds for her. What do you mean no comment? You think she's going to prison? You don't want your mom's opinion. This is your podcast. I know, but, you know, no comment. <laughs> okay. Other news. I forgot. I think I forgot to tell you this last week. What? There's superhero casting news. Okay. Okay. 
Do you know who is going to play Green Lantern in the DCU, the Detective Comics universe? Coming no, up, who's this is it? the one with Batman and Superman, Wonder Woman. Who? Nathan Fillion has been cast as Green Lantern. Who's Nathan? Castle. Well, isn't he a little what? bit old? Yeah. Oh the, my the previous Green Lantern was Nathan Ryan Fe- Reynolds. Well, that's better. Can, can they not find somebody a little bit younger for Green Lantern? The the guy who's calling the shots over there, his name's James Gunn. He first he hires friends and family, then and Nathan old, Fillion was guys. in was like in his first movie. He's my age. He was like the star of his first movie. Is he as old as me? He's old. You're older than him. He, Nathan Fillion's like fifty. He, no, he's 58. like fifty-one or so. Look, my my biggest issue with what he's doing right now is that he's on a show called The Rookie. And not only, okay, so it starts off, he's a 40-year-old rookie cop. We're going to call it the rookie. But he's in his 50. How old is he? He's like 50, okay? But the point I'm getting at is he's been the rookie for like five years now. How long can you be a rookie? I think they keep getting new rookies in there, so they keep calling it the rookie. But it's about him, and he's the rookie. He's now the eponymous he's a, Now rookie. he's a trainer guy. Okay, now do you have a new, new story? We'll bounce off new stories. Uh, let's see. What else do I got? The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Movies coming out, and all the materials are in Walmart. We saw them. We something else. We saw. We saw the this. We old. saw the throwback toys from the eighties. Yeah, and then and they look pretty close to how they, they used do. to. And there are gobs of them, aisles of them. Yes, there there were more teen. I don't think they had that many Ninja Turtle toys when it was the craze. No, they did. On the I, scene I can at tell one you, time. I remember. And that. it's a problem so. because look, you tell Grandma, "Hey, Grandma, I want Ninja Turtles for Christmas. Which one?" I mean, it's not just, hey, can you get me Leonardo for Christmas? There's like five different series. There's retro of, Leonardo. There's like a Lego looking. There's like, there's movie giant looking. Giant Leonardo. There's movie, 1990 movie Leonardo. There's a giant one. There's the cartoon that just finished. There's a cartoon before that. There's the current movie version that's a cartoon. Just all sorts of stuff. You guys, I still have all of your Ninja Turtle stuff. We have Marshmallow Man. Oh, that's Ghostbusters. I don't know about all. I think we <laughs> have some. I'm not sure about the First all First Spawn was into Ghostbusters. Then it was Ninja Turtles when he was a little boy. Yeah. But I tell people this, and I think only people really close to my age would understand it. But when I was a kid, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was bigger than Star Wars. Star Wars was already done. It was. And Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was the craze. It was. Yeah. For your age, for so kids. So here's another news story for you. Angry fans rooting against U.S. women's soccer team after latest national anthem controversy. What happened? I don't understand this entirely, but they refused to sing the, the anthem. Uh, what were I, they protesting? Well, I think at this point we should be glad that most of them had their hand over their heart and all of them were standing, right? Yeah, what did but they But the point well, I'm getting at is why it. what was the singing? Why is this why is it a controversy that they weren't singing? I don't I think never you're see any guys sing. singing. I don't see men singing along in any of the sports people actually watch. You're supposed to stand up, put your hand on your heart. I don't, I honestly I don't know if you're supposed to even have to put your hand on your heart. You could just stand up and you're, you're that's I think what you're, you're expected to, to at least stand. I in baseball I see them shuffling their feet back and forth and spitting out the chew and whatever, right? Well, they're trying to stay warmed up. But they don't sing along. You can sing if you I want. I don't see why refusing to sing along is the controversy. It feels like they're looking for a controversy here. That's ridiculous. Regardless, I still want to root against them. No. Yeah, because they they spend a lot of time bashing America. No, they don't. They sure as heck do. And, uh, okay, Jamie Foxx breaks the silence. I'm on my way back. He had a little video. People were complaining that he looked pale. Well, he looks thin. He looked pale and different. I'm thinking that a lot of that can be chalked up to the distortion one gets on the selfie camera on your phone. Well, if you've been sick, I mean, you know. Compare the selfie camera on your phone to Hollywood production that you usually see him in. And I think that kind of makes a conflicting image contrast right there. Don't you think? Yes. Uh, By the way, did you see Mitch McConnell? (laughs) Freeze. Yeah. freeze freeze frame do, 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 he didn't do, even do, blink do, do, i was do, i was watching do, going, do, he's do, not do, even do, blinking do, do, do. <laughs> and then people are like hey uh, you got a comment on that are you, you okay let's walk over here okay let, let's just get him away from the mic so he doesn't yeah, say anything. really <laughs> that was scary Ah, uh, was it that scary you didn't think he was transforming into an alien no, no, i thought he was this, stroking out we got we got this guy I don't know if we can really trust this guy. He's a former 
uh, he, look, just because the guy used to work in the area doesn't mean he's telling the truth about this alien UFO stuff and the non-human bodies testifying before Congress. He could be trying to sell you a project. He says he knows where the bodies are. Okay, well then show us. Until I actually see the evidence, let's not entirely believe this, okay? But what do you think about that? The guy, we have the bodies, right? Well, you know, I've, I would like to. I would like to think there probably are other people, other beings on other planets, and that there probably are some flying around. But I would like to see some. Uh, why don't we have some crashing down? I mean, our airplanes crashed. Don't they have. I mean, I guess maybe they don't. But I like to see some kind of evidence. Evidence. I think that when they they crash, they probably have a system in place to try to destroy the evidence, and so that people don't. Uh, try to farm the technology. There are people who claim like CDs that came from the UFOs. Just, uh, just all the stuff we ca- we have in the 90s, it came from back then in the Roswell store, things like that, right? Mm-hmm. I think oh. the most likely scenario is that they look like us already. They have a way to look like us. That's why we haven't seen them because they're already here. That's very possible. I think that's the more likely scenario rather than, oh, hey, now we finally see them. Yeah. I think that's more of a scenario. Black man attacked by Ohio police during traffic stop. Remember, I told you they like to sit these dogs on people for fun, and that's what the cop did. The that's very scary. next day, I said that. I said sometimes they like to have the dogs attack them for fun. Quit playing with the cord. I'm not. I'm playing with my pen. Okay, but don't put it near the cord. Okay. And that a guy got attacked by the... Now, what happened after this? The cop that had the dog go after him got fired. The dog is still on the force. The dog is still out there on the loose, ready to attack black people. It's not the dog's problem. It's not the dog's fault. He has got a handler. The The handler lets go, trains him to attack when they're let go. So he says, he's got his ready to go, and he lets him go, and that means attack. Whose fault is it? The human beings that was holding the dog. Is this resolved by? Don't worry, we fired the cop. The human cop. Is it resolved there, or is this guy going to get a pretty hefty settlement? He's probably going to get a settlement, too. Yeah, he's probably. it's probably going to be a settlement. Because the dog probably bit him. All right. Uh, actor Julian Sands, cause of death deemed undetermined. Now, this is something to be weird about. Guy was missing for like five months, went on a hike. They found him like a month ago. Found his remains, as they like to call it. And I guess he deteriorated to a point that they that their final explanation for how he died is simply undetermined. Well, I, I really hate to say this, but I have a feeling it might have been suicide because he, he went hiking to his favorite place. He really liked, he loved, really liked these place, this place in the mountains in California, right? Come. True crime mom. I know, and unfortunately, I think that that was probably what happened. Maybe not unfortunately. Maybe he's at peace and that's what he wanted, but. From the lady whose motto is, at least we died together. <laughs> right? Right. I said quit playing with that cable right there. Oh, gosh, sorry. Now, do you have any other news for us? Nope, I have a quote, though. Quote uh, time. Okay, let, hold on. Let me get through my news, and then okay. we'll get to the quote. Okay. okay. As much as I hate the quote, we'll you know, have to it's postpone your favorite this. thing. Star Trek Strange New Worlds had a crossover event. When you guys, if, if I let you have... Paramount Plus this long, and you get to this episode, it's going to really throw a wrench in your system. They had a crossover event with their animated show that plays like Rick and Morty, but it, but being a official Star Trek show, it's called Star Trek Lower Decks. Oh, okay. It's really goofy. There are so many. I can't keep up with all these shows now. So they had a crossover, and the Lower Decks cast came to the Enterprise. Okay. And it's it's pretty jarring. Uh, it's it's something. Yeah, you, you'll you may not get that far. I'll so is it animated? And in- part of it's animated, yeah. But then they come in and they're they're live action. The well, that ought to be fun. And of course, the the main guy who came over is Dennis Quaid and Meg Ryan's son because he's in everything right now. Remember, he was on Red Lair Media. They talked to him. His name's Jack. I don't remember. They and they made a big deal about him being in the Oppenheimer and things. They cool. they wanted to. Ha- Give him scripts to show Christopher Nolan. Remember on Red Letter Media? No. You're, you know what I'm talking about. I forgot. Why flashing the okay hand sign is not okay. You know about this? Yeah, don't go like this. What does that mean? Something naughty? No, it means okay. Okay, guys. But okay, now they USA. say don't do it. Yeah. Well, we're going to do it anyway. 
Why? Because it's about control. It's not that this offends anybody. It's here's something we can make people do or stop doing. Why do they want us to stop doing? Is it naughty? They're claiming it means white power, which is absolutely absurd. Oh. It, it, there is still well, an that's emoji something I don't for do. it. There's still an emoji available. Regardless. I do thumbs up. I think, look, if someone's going okay. to get on to you for tweeting out the N-word or something, why not come after Samsung, uh, Google for making the Android, iPhone, uh, Apple? Go after them for allowing us to do it. My phone doesn't stop me from doing it, right? But the technology's there. I don't think that's an excuse. I think that we, we can't be going after people for these things. I didn't know it, so I'm ignorant to that. Runner killed by grizzly bear in Yellowstone National Park. That's scary. I don't think this is the same one. Dur- as the, yep. No, this is 48-year-old ultra marathon yeah, runner Amy. She's from Derby. Uh, this doesn't say from Derby well, on it. Well, she is from Derby. And her name that. was Amy Adamson? Yes. Are you just saying that? No, I'm not. So my point is she was running ultra marathons. You know what that is? That's where you run like 100 miles, yeah, 50 or 100 miles. Yeah, she couldn't run a bear. I, have, I stand no chance. By the time you get I'm to 50 miles, I dead. don't think you have a lot of run left in you, a lot of sprint. Oh, and that is, I believe, the ninth fatal bear encounter in like the last 10 years. Yeah, yeah, nine bears. Well, since 2010. 13 years. And we years. slept out in a tent in Yellowstone. Because you have for a death two wish. nights. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I think that is really all I have for the news. Let's finish it up with this garbage quote thing you like to do. Okay. It's really hilarious because I can't remember if I've done them or not, but I think I don't think I've done this one. I'll lie if you did and claim that I just got it. <laughs> okay. Pie can't complete with a cake. Put candles in a cake, it's a birthday cake. Put candles in a pie and somebody's... Drunk in the kitchen. <laughs> Who said that? Is, is this Adam Carolla? Nope. He really like. he prefers pie over cake. Oh, does he? I didn't know that. One more guess. Two more Wait, guesses. Wait, what? <laughs> wow, short-term memory problems for you, right? Yeah. Okay, so pie can't compete with a cake. Is that, I want some, now I'll throw one guess out there, but now I want some some clues here. Okay, throw a guess. I already did. Oh, okay. Um, this guy really likes food, likes to eat. Is it Jim Gaffigan? Yes. <laughs> he Good. has a new special on Amazon Prime called, uh, is it Dark Pale? Yeah, you watched some of it last I time. watched a little bit. I watched about nine minutes of it while I was eating a, a protein bar. And, you know, it was okay. He started out, he had a mask on. And he's like, oh, let me take this off. And he started unbuttoning his shirt. Oh. <laughs> I don't <laughs> need this funny. anymore. And then, yeah. <laughs> I, I think he's good. He got better once he had a ton of kids. Well, they give you all this material. It's like like it's like moms. They give you material. I, in addition, stand up. he also his wife got into help writing his jokes at oh, that really? point. So, and she had cancer, and that's hilarious. And you know, no. it's something they can draw. You know, some no. inspiration from. No, you don't think that's funny? No, I don't. Well, a lot of people disagree. Then I guess. Well, okay. Anyway. Bye-bye now. That sounds like a, a um, bing when you're in a submarine and they're sending down those. A things. little bit. Bing. A little bit. <laughs>